what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're gonna be talking about bob marley one love this will be a review for that film spoiler free so this is directed by ronaldo marcus green it is written by terrence winter frank flowers zach balin and ronaldo marcus green i guess co-wrote the screenplay as well it is starring kingsley benadir lashana lynch lashana lynch and james norton and several others now this film of course is revolving around Jamaican singer songwriter Bob Marley who overcomes adversity to become the most famous reggae musician in the world now I will say that this film is not very good have you guys ever watched a movie where the acting was so strong but the vision is all over the place I'm certain you have this film is the biggest disservice I'll probably ever see for a global icon in a very long time, unless Michael is a complete train wreck next year. What's funny is I looked at the runtime beforehand and decided to myself that this film's structure would be all over the place if it's trying to cram in this man's legacy with a runtime like this, and sure enough, it lived up to expectations in the wrong capacity. Bob Marley's One Love is a hollow attempt at paying tribute to an iconic talent. With four writers attached, it really doesn't shock me that this movie ended up the way that it did. I'll address the performances up front because they were tremendous. Lashana Lynch and Kingsley Benadire steal every scene they are in. Adir captured the demeanor of Marley so well, and his chemistry with Lynch, who stars as Rita Marley, easily makes their moments the film's strongest asset. In fact, I'd argue that the love dynamic and the drama between them is the most cohesive element of the screenplay and the most engaging aspect of it as well with that having the most weight, the most impact, and the most significance, and resonating the most with me as a viewer while I was watching. Lynch has become a favorite of mine too because she's always delivering in every role that I see her in. Rita's love and frustration shine thanks to Lynch's undeniable talent. Adir likely won't win any awards for his performance, but I hope I'm proven wrong because he gave it his all in this role. It's just unfortunate that the story wasn't worth the effort that these two were putting in. As as the same I would say for the other talent because they weren't the only good performances. Everybody else did a tremendous job too, but of course they were the two leads, so I'm going to highlight them. Another positive is the soundtrack. But no surprise there. If the performances didn't keep me engaged or entertained, the music sure did. Circling back to the screenplay. How oh how do you make a movie about Bob Marley and I don't even fully care about Bob Marley? All the likable qualities are there, don't get me wrong, but One Love doesn't explore the man the way that it should. That's why it's a disservice. Everything is kept above the surface and as a result, your titular character comes off like a glass half full and Marley feels very restrained in this film and it's a shame that this was the end result but that's the god honest truth of how I feel about the movie and its depiction of Bob Marley. Marley being an established figure and then bouncing back and forth to his to his childhood didn't make it any better. A lot of the childhood sequences I would say didn't even need to be here. Green's direction was another nail in the coffin for this film. I loved his work on King Richard but one love lacks stakes and any sort of genuine impact or weight for the most or for the majority of its runtime. Mostly everything leading up to Marley's diagnosis lacks the impact it should have. Like I mentioned, there's just no weight to anything on your screen, no emphasis, no energy, besides the love dynamic and the drama between Lynch and Adir. Most, and again, mostly everything leading up to Marley's diagnosis, it just lacks any sort of impact. For example, an incident involving a gun occurs early on and it's treated as though it didn't mean much in the big picture, but then we circle back to said event later on only for the resolution that it's trying to depict to fall flat with me as a viewer because the event itself was glossed over or never communicated in a very significant way. Again, I guess I really should just be saying the film is glossing over things that shouldn't be glossed over. I guess that's also a testament to how poorly paced the film can be at times. Lots of the jarring editing choices with the flashbacks in particular made certain sequences questionable as to when exactly they were happening. The film itself was just a mess. It was a mess. That's the God honest truth. That's the simplest word I could use to describe Bob Marley's one love is that it was a mess. The performances, the costume design, the soundtrack, all of that was strong. And the strongest aspect of the screenplay, again, just comes down to the love between a deer and or not a deer, but Rita and Bob. 
that was the strongest aspect of the screenplay and the struggles that they were going through along this journey because the screenplay really is just hopping from event to event to event to event to event nothing is hitting nothing has any weight behind it and it just doesn't bode well for the film in the long run because it was a glass half full type of movie i would honestly give the film a five out of ten let me know what you guys think about bob marley's one love down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video